Do binders work? Don't know. Never tried it, but today I'm gonna. I've heard lots of things over the years. People either love it or hate it. I've never done it because I've always used the moisture of the meat itself as a binder. Never had a problem with it. Another reason I've stayed away from it is people say you can't taste it. Don't know how you can't. Um, I'm sure there's a reason why, but anyways, the purpose of this video is to see if the binder makes a difference in the bark. Today we're gonna find out on two racks of baby back ribs if binders work or not if they're worth it. This is what I'm gonna do today. So here we go. I just don't know how you're not gonna taste this. Man, mustard on the ribs. It's just, whatever. So that looks good to me. So, Yardbird Rub, Plowboys, Kansas City style. Used it before, it's great. Gonna do it today. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch gloves so I don't get the mustardy hand on the clean ribs. There we go. Mm. You can smell the sweet and you can smell the heat. Get those sides. Very important. And I like to do it high, shake it kind of high so I get a nice even coat. Use my hand to manipulate the meat so I get it covered where I need to and also to prevent it from falling off the side and onto the tray and get wasted. So that one there looks good. Hit it one more time. Sweet. Let's do this one. All right, looks good to me. What do you think? It's obvious which one has the mustard on it. Let's cut over to the grill. Doing this on the Oklahoma Joe today. Got some oak wood and uh, want to get a gander. Some oak wood and some Joe's Double Lump. So gonna do these at at least 300 degrees today, maybe three and a quarter. And I am going to keep just to remember the binded ribs on the left. There we have it. That's, that looks good already. Okay, binder down the left. There we go. These will be on here probably three hours ish, plus or minus some ish. But uh, we'll be back in a couple hours or so to check on it. Bye bye. We are at the two hour and twenty minute mark. There we go. Three. And the money shot. There we go. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Looking good. Already getting pulled back on the bomb. This one, and one with the uh, binder showing up yellow on camera, but to the naked eye, man, there's nothing there. No yellow. It's crazy. Uh, looking good. I'm going to probe them for temp. So we can see where we're at. Let's see what we got. Ooh, 198, 200. I think we're good. We're done. We are done. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get a tray, get some something to put these guys on. We're going to pull them. Two hours, 20 minutes. Not bad. Okay, regular, go on the right, and the binder ribs, look at that bend, look at that, wants to split, and it did, that's when you know you're done. Okay, I'm going to bring these in, going to foil them, 
let them rest for 15, 20 minutes, and then we'll cut them to them and see how they look. But right off the bat, if I didn't know any better, I couldn't tell you any difference between the two, other than the one with the mustard does look a little lighter to the eye now that I see it. You can kind of see some of the yellowish. The one is just standard, has a much darker bark. Here we are. Brined, not brined. In here for about 20 minutes ish. So this one broke in half when I was wrapping it all the way in half. So that way I know. I'll get you in for close up here. Bear with. Okay, so that's the brinded. What do you think of that? Well, it smells amazing. I don't think I smell mustard. Smell the rub, smells great. Let me put that back together. Okay, not binded. Not bad. How's that? Got excellent looking bark. Excellent Smithers. Okay. I'll get you in for another look at this one. This one looks more moist. I see that. That's the difference I could tell. Other, as well as being lighter in color, seems a little more moist. This uh, one that wasn't binded with the mustard seems a little more dry on the top. But uh, we'll see how it turns out. Uh, let's cut in, take tri bites, see if we could taste that mustard and see if there's a difference in the barks. Cool. Here we go. So, this is where it broke. So, I'm going to do a clean cut right there, I think. What am I cutting? I'll do that guy. We'll cut the bar. So, can you get a look at that? Looks good. There's nice coloring to it. All right. I'm going to cut into this one real quick. We'll do a comparison of the two before I bite in. Definitely tender. It's falling right off the bone. All right. Well, let's look at this side of it. Overshot it a little bit temperature wise. So it is coming right off the bone. Some people like that. Some people don't to each their own. Uh, let's see, was it this one? Binded, not binded. Meat's kind of dark there. But other than that, you know, I can see some yellowish there. But that, other than that, I don't smell it. That being said, I'm gonna take a try bite, starting with the not the standard rib, uh, standard rack first. All right, here we go. Excellent. Excellent. <clears throat> okay. So there's my baseline. Let's bite into this one and see if we could taste that mustard. Nice bite. Very good bark. I'll, call, I'll go back to the other one and uh, we'll compare the barks. But as far as tasting the mustard, I don't taste it at all. I'm going to cut into another one. See if we can do a bark comparison. Okay, that's the binded. Looks great. It does give it a little coloring. So there's that. It seems to keep the bark moist, more moist. Here's the two. Here's the binded. Let me grab the same but let's go back. But the one that was rubbed with the uh, mustard, it's lighter in color. It seemed more moist as far as the bark is concerned. The standard one, uh, drier bark, um, 
darker color to it. And that's really it. Couldn't taste the mustard at all. Um, so that's good, you know, because that was always a reservation for me in trying this uh, binder thing in the whole first place. So that being said, six to one half dozen to the other. You know, if you like that dark kind of drier uh, bark, great. The mustard gave it a lighter color, kept it more moist. You know, some people spray it, you know, spritz it, some don't. So, uh, there you go, folks. So, hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it or not, uh, subscribe, hit that bell, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time.